Complete Evolution of Therizinosaurus Early Archosaurs and Dinosauromorphs Archosaurs The ancestors of all dinosaurs go back to Archosaurs, a group of reptiles that includes dinosaurs, crocodiles, and birds. In the mid-Triassic period, about 230 million years ago, some early archosaurs gave rise to the dinosauromorphs, a group that includes the ancestors of dinosaurs. Dinosauromorphs Proto-dinosaurs and the earliest dinosauromorphs were small, bipedal, and most likely omnivores. One example is Legerpotin, which lived in the Middle Triassic. Although it was not the direct ancestor of the Thersinosaurus, it represents the group from which the true dinosaurs evolved. Early Dinosaurs and Theropods From the Late Triassic to the Early Jurassic Eoraptor and Herosaurus In the Late Triassic, about 230 million years ago, the first true dinosaurs appeared. Eoraptor and Herosaurus are small, bipedal, and mostly carnivorous representatives of the oldest dinosaurs. They stand close to the base of the dinosaur evolutionary tree. And although they are not the direct ancestors of the Thersinosaurus, their morphology reflects the original features of theropods' bipedalism, carnivorous diet, sharp-toothed jaws. Theropods from the early primitive dinosaurs, a group of theropods, predatory bipedal dinosaurs, emerged in the late Triassic and early Jurassic. Theropods include all carnivorous dinosaurs, as well as birds, which are descendants of one of the branches of theropods. Coelurosaurus Middle and Late Jurassic in the Jurassic period 150 million years ago, a large clade of coelurosaurs formed among theropods. Coelurosaurs include many advanced theropods, including tyrannosaurs, ornithomimids, trudentids, and manoraptorians. Coelurosaurs were generally lighter bodied, with many having plumage or protofeathers. This is an important step, since manoraptor, from which their cynosaurs descended, is part of the Coelurosaurus. Manoraptors Late Jurassic, Early Cretaceous Manoraptorans are a clade within Coelurosaurus that includes birds and their closest relatives. These are Deinonychosaurs, Dromaeosaurids, Trudentids, and Therizinosaurs. Manoraptorians develop characteristic features elongated forelimbs with movable carpals, feather cover, and changes in skeletal structure associated with selection, often aimed at feeding on fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes plant foods. At this stage, the group leading to the Thersinosaurus begins to move away from a predominantly predatory lifestyle and makes the transition to herbivory or omnivory. Prototherizinosaurus Beginning of the Cretaceous period Falcarius or Falcarius Udahensis One of the early Therizinosaurs that lived about 126 million years ago in North America. Falcaria is already showing transitional signs, elongated cervical vertebrae, modified teeth legs with a wider crown, adapted for processing plant food and large claws on the forelimbs. It is closer to the predatory ancestors, but already represents an early stage of specialization characteristic of Therizinosaurus. Bipiosaurus An early Cretaceous dinosaur from China with feather-like cover. It shows that Therizinosaurus, like many Manoraptorans, were feathered. Bipiosaurus is another transitional taxon, confirming the shift from a carnivorous to a plant-based diet. Therizinosaurids Late Cretaceous Period Cygnosaurus and Ehrlichosaurus 
These middle and late Cretaceous forms from Mongolia were already clearly specialized in plant food. Massive body, long neck, beak, leaf-shaped teeth, powerful forelimbs with long claws. These genera give us an idea of the morphological portrait of the Therocinosaurus as a large, slow-moving, herbivorous theropod. Therocinosaurus Therocinosaurus appears in the late Cretaceous, about 70 million years ago, in what is now Mongolia. It is the culmination of an evolutionary lineage that began with the small carnivorous theropods of the Triassic-Jurassic period. Their Cynosaurus reaches enormous sizes, up to 33 feet in length. It has extremely long claws, over 3 feet, adapted for attracting branches and leaves rather than for predation. Its teeth and skull structure are already completely oriented toward plant foods. Major Evolutionary Transitions From small carnivorous theropods to large herbivorous therizinosaurs, Changes in teeth The appearance of leaf-shaped teeth, flattening of the crowns, loss of pointed carnassial teeth, formation of a beak. Increase in size and restructuring of the body. The transition from slender, light forms to massive, heavy and slower dinosaurs with long necks, adapted to collecting plant food. Limb modification the forelimbs become longer and more powerful. The claws are very long, but their function varies. The claws are not used for hunting, but for attracting branches, tearing off leaves, and possibly for defense. As part of the Manoraptor lineage, Therizinosaurs appear to have been feathered, based on findings of early forms. The feathers may have been used for warmth, display, and protection of the masonry. The ancestors of their Cynosaurus go from the early bipedal, carnivorous archosaurs of the Triassic period, through the early theropods of the Jurassic, then to the Coelurosaurs and Manoraptorians of the Cretaceous period. On one of the branches of Manoraptor, a lineage arises that transitions from predation to herbivory. Beginning with forms such as Falcaria and Bipiosaurus, this lineage evolved into a specific group of Therizinosaurs, culminating in the appearance of the giant Therizinosaurus. Thus, Therizinosaurs are the result of a long path of adaptation, which began with small predatory ancestors and ended with large, slow-moving ones that NAL herbivorous theropods of the late Cretaceous. Therizinosaurus or Therizinosaurus chiloniformis was a large, unusual theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous era, about 70 million years ago. His remains were found on the territory of modern Mongolia. Therizinosaurus is best known for its incredibly long claws on its forelimbs, which remain among the most impressive adaptations of any dinosaur. The first bones of Therizinosaurus were found in the 1940s by a Soviet Mongolian expedition. Initially, paleontologists discovered the huge claws and assumed they belonged to a giant tortoise, hence the species name Chiloniformis, which means turtle-like. The name Therizinosaurus comes from the Greek Therizo reap or cut in sorrow's lizard that is, reaper lizard. The habitat of the Therizinosaurus is the desert and semi-desert territories of prehistoric Asia, in particular the Namek Formation in the territory of modern Mongolia, which was distinguished by a relatively humid climate, forested and river landscapes. Therizinosaurus was considered one of the largest representatives of its group, it could reach about 31 feet in length and weigh several tons. According to various estimates, up to four to five tons. The body is massive, with a barrel-shaped body, a long neck and a relatively small head. 
Its long neck allowed it to reach tall plants. The head was small with toothless beaks at the front and small leaf-shaped teeth deeper in the jaws, designed for grinding plant food. Their Cynosaurus had extremely long forelimbs with three giant claws, the length of which reached 50 centimeters or more. These claws are its most striking feature. There are no direct finds of feather cover for their Cynosaurus. But given its close relatives, such as Bipiosaurus and Falcarius, one can assume the presence of primitive feathers or down-like covering. Although their Cynosaurus was evolutionarily descended from carnivorous theropods, it was a herbivore, or at least a predominantly herbivore. Its teeth and jaw shape were adapted for feeding on soft vegetation, leaves, branches, and possibly fruits. The long claws could have been used to attract branches and tear off leaves, defending against predators such as Tarbosaurus, which lived in the same ecosystems. Their Cynosaurus's claws are a kind of giant garden pruning shears adapted for collecting plant material. Their Cynosaurus was bipedal. Its hind limbs were powerful enough to support its massive body, but its movement speed was probably slow. Their Cynosaurus is a theropod, but is part of the Therizinosauria group unusual theropods that switched to a plant diet. Those resinosaurs are close to the group of Manoraptorians, which includes the ancestors of birds, dromaeosaurids, oviraptorosaurs, and trudentids. They provide a unique example of how descendants of carnivores can evolve to a strictly plant-based diet. The land on which their Cynosaurus lived was rich in a variety of dinosaurs, including large, predatory tarbosaurs, duck-billed hadrosaurids, and horned ceratopsians. The presence of a variety of plants, including conifers, ferns, and angiosperms, provided their Cynosaurus with access to food. Their Cynosaurus probably occupied its own special ecological niche as a large herbivorous theropod, which was atypical for a predatory branch of dinosaurs. It may have competed with other herbivores, but its size, specialized limbs, and perhaps social behavior that we can only speculate on helped it survive. Most their Cynosaurus specimens are fragmentary, making complete reconstruction difficult. The claws and some elements of the limbs are better known. Initially, their Cynosaurus and its closest relatives were thought to be turtles or strange aquatic reptiles, but over time, as data accumulated in comparisons with other theropods, paleontologists realized their true nature. Their Cynosaurus is a prime example of how evolution can change stereotypical roles in an ecosystem. From predators to herbivores, such a transition shows the plasticity of evolutionary processes. Studying their Cynosaurus helps to better understand how Manoraptor arose and evolved, and how this group developed a set of traits not found in most theropods. Their Cynosaurus often attracts attention due to its unusual appearance. It appears in popular science films, books, and museum exhibits, providing a striking example of the complexity and diversity of the dinosaur world. Their Cynosaurus is not just a dinosaur with huge claws. He is a witness to how wide and sometimes unexpected the range of evolutionary solutions was in the Mesozoic. Shifting from carnivorous ancestors to a herbivorous diet, their Cynosaurus occupied a unique ecological niche and continues to impress researchers and paleontology buffs with its unusual appearance and evolutionary history. If you watched this episode, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. 
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also press the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the real Unreal channel.